Yes, hello today. Look, we've got Goku. So we're going to go over the kits real fast. We're going to go over like what they look like. So what I've done is I've made every single one of them 14 stars. I've made them all 5,000 in terms of their soul boost and, you know, just the level and everything else. And the reason for it is very, very simple because that's the ideal anyways that you want them at. So might as well and, you know, don't bother with anything else. So let's take a look at the overall stats. So in terms of power, he's 1.42 million. Okay, cool, cool, cool. His health is 2.32 million. So it's not like the most amazing thing, but that's pretty pretty standard. So it's not bad. Uh, we got strike attack at um, almost 250. Okay, it's not bad. Uh, defense, 159. Uh, blast attack, 232. So he's definitely melee, which obviously it says right there. So not surprising. And then we got blast defense at 156. Okay, it's not bad. Like. For a free-to-play unit, this is actually a pretty solid, solid, like, stats. Everything looks nice. Um, like, it's nothing to cry home about, but hopefully, when we look at the kit, it more than makes up for it, because once again, stats aren't everything, but also stats do somewhat matter, so it's not like the kit alone is going to save you. It can, but I'm going to guess, because this is a free-to-play unit, the kid alone can't save it and has to synergize well with the stats in order for the stats to matter and vice versa. So let's take a look. We got the main ability, Final Ray of Hope. So he inflicts uh, enemies with attribute downgrade, plus 30% to strike damage received for 30 timer counts, and they got 40% to damage inflicted for 30 timer counts, restore zone health by 20%, and key by 40. 10 timer counts to do this. Okay, so it's not bad. This is actually pretty cool. Uh, it Basically, you're going to be able to do some hefty damage with this guy so yeah i can understand why they've kept his melee strike attack on the lower end i would have expected it to at least hit that 250 but this makes more sense now now with that being said he does feel if i were to just go off the main ability alone feels like one of those explosive units that you really want to take advantage of as soon as possible and then he kind of dies off i hope that's not the case but it might be the case all right, we've got the unique abilities. We've got Engage, Inflict Damage Up, so it applies the following effects when he enters the battlefield. 60%. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, this is actually... <laughs> that's actually really good, and um, this gives him a lot of explosiveness. So, I, it, I, I'm again, I'm looking at this from just, like, face value, so it's very possible that this will still not be very, very relevant, but 60% is nothing to scoff at. So, yeah, and then that reduction of damage, not as relevant, but can be, can be relevant. So, you know, here we go. And we got Arts card, draw speed up, assault, applies the following effects to itself when the battle starts for 80 timer counts, increases draw speed by one level. Now, it doesn't say anywhere that it can't be negated, as in it can't be removed. So, I'm just kind of scared that it can be canceled, and in that case... It can be just removed entirely, and then doesn't matter how many timer counts, it's gone. So, 80 timer counts, that's a solid chunk of time, especially with that also key recovery, so that constant key control. But at the same time, I just worry, you know? So, there's that. And then we don't know what the card costs are, at least unless I try to hardcore find them. Uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, I have to click on that. So, the cost. It's okay. We're going to get them to level 5, so it's going to be 19 in terms of the cost. So there you go. We take a look at the blast. It's 20. It's going to be 29. Yeah, it's going to be 29 because we're not going to be able to, since we're not Zankaiing them, so there's no way to get to the card, uh, card level of 10 as a result. So yeah, we're going to be hitting at a power of 120. Okay, cool. And then we got the Kamehameha Wave, so it deals major impact damage. We got 20 percent okay. And then we got unlock key form of attacks. So we got 30 percent to strike damage, and then cancels own attribute. Okay, that's not bad. That's actually pretty nice. And then, yeah, so we got also the Tournament of Power abilities. I don't really care too much about that, but let's take a look at what the Z ability has in store for us. So at the final stage, it's going to be Saiyan Saga or Red. Okay, that's unfortunate. That makes me a little sad. I, I wish that it was a little bit more generic than that. But I get it. I, I get it. I just... It would have been nice. It just... It would have been nice. 
But either way, uh, yeah, so this is this Goku. So let's move on and see what, what we got for Super Saiyans. So we have Super Saiyan Goku. He's a yellow, as we previously said in another video. Uh, once again, we got an average type of health. And then we got for Strike Damage, he's 30, 235. For Blast, he's 242. We got Defense at 146 and then 152. So he's a little bit less tanky than the other one, at least from the stats alone. Uh, and then in terms of Damage, he's a little bit lower as well. But let's take a look at what he's got for us. So we got Awaken Power, draw a special move arts card next. Plus 50% to Damage, okay, for 20 timer counts, and then cancels own attribute downgrades. It's not bad. Then we got Unique Ability, Inflicted Damage Up, applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield, restores key by 30, and then we got Increased Damage by 70% for 15 timer counts, and then Reduced Damage by 20. Okay. Um, it's not bad. I just wish that the 70% wasn't for only a certain amount of timer counts. That kind of annoys me. But it's okay, it's not too bad. Okay, and then apply the following effects to self per defeated battle member when this character enters the battlefield. He has 20% the damage inflicted and cannot be cancelled. Reduces the damage received by 10%, cannot be cancelled, and restores health by 10%. Cool. This is interesting. And this is per a defeated battle member. So this can be 40%, this can be 20%, this will heal by 10%, and then another 10%. So, okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, so then that pretty much confirms that this is cancelable on the other unit, which kind of sucks, but, you know, here, it is what it is. Um, not much that you can do about it. Let's take a look at the strike levels. So, yeah, 19, uh, 29, all right. So we got the 50% to special damage for three timers upon activation for the Super Kamehameha wave, so that's pretty cool. We got unlock. Uh, key form of attack, restores key by 30, and then 20% to damage inflicted for 20 timer counts. Okay. Um, nothing to cry home about, but this is a nice, like, just a nice yellow that you could put in Super Saiyans. I'm not saying you should. I'm just saying you can. So let's take a look at what this really boosts. So it's yellow and Frieza Saga. So if you ever felt like building a Frieza Saga team, now's the chance. You can do it with, uh, you can, you can do it with Namek Goku, the Zenkai 7. You can do it with the LF Frieza or with the Pizza Frieza. You can do it with this guy, too. You can do it with the Krillin. So you have options. Krillin can be, the Zenkai Krillin can be Bay, the EX Zenkai, with him and the Namaku. That could be quite the powerhouse team, but I would still say that it's not necessarily like a um, meta-relevant team, but it is something that you can, you can cuck your opponents with, so that's pretty cool. So it's not out of the realm of possibilities. He can definitely be used in Super Saiyans because, I mean, uh, sometimes people will pick something like the LF Gohan or they'll pick someone such as the Super Saiyan Borley right here that I'm highlighting over. So people have chosen a variety of units for yellows on Super Saiyans. A lot of teams on Super Saiyans choose just to not ever bring in a yellow or have a yellow on their team. So there you go. So. You know, it's it's interesting. He's an interesting character. I don't know how relevant he'll actually be. Probably not too relevant, but who knows? We don't know. He, his kit is definitely not bad. He definitely can do damage, but the fact that a lot of these units can have a lot of their moves, or a lot of their buffs canceled, says a lot. But again, they're free to play, so let's not be too upset about that. I think just the fact that we're getting new units, especially six, really cool. I like that. I really do. All right, so let's take a look. Super Saiyan 2 Goku. So this is a melee. Or no, it's a defense. My bad. My bad. My bad. All right, so defensive unit. Let's take a look at what it does. So 2.43 million in terms of health, roughly. We got strike attack at 224. Okay. Uh, blast attack at 228. And then we got 164 and 163 in terms of the defense. That's actually pretty good for a free-to-play that is also not a Zenkai unit. That's getting close to some of the lower-end defense units for Zenkais. So that's pretty cool. But unfortunately, like, unless his um, passives really capitalize on that stat, he might just fall through. <clears throat> all right, so let's take a look. We got Determined Battle. He restores ally health by 20%. He inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade, minus one arts card draw speed level for 15 timer counts, and then cancels enemy attribute upgrades. That's a pretty damn cool ability. I actually like that. Messing with your opponent? 
especially if these a lot of these can go off. That is awesome. Plus, on top of that, it heals you, so. Good. All right, we got Clash, Inflicted Damage up, so applies to the following effects to self every time when faced with an enemy. So each time they switch, that's actually pretty cool, or when you bring yourself in. 30% uh, to Damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. Reduces Damage received by 25% for 10 timer counts. That's cool. That can be capitalized on. That is awesome. Okay, and then we got an additional 30% to strike damage inflicted for 15 timer counts every time when faced with an enemy tag Saiyan. They knew. And I, what, I say, what I mean by that is they knew that this unit wouldn't be relevant unless they gave it a little bit more of an oomph. And because there's a lot of Saiyans in the meta as it is, this makes sense. <laughs> and this is pretty cool. I actually like this. This is actually really cool. So... And we got to cover sustained damage cut, so reduces damage by 40% until combat ends when changing cover. So we got, yeah, he's a very defensive unit. I love it. And then 25% to damage inflicted for 25 timer counts and plus two on substitution count when activated. Cool. I want to see how well this actually plays out in battle. I think that the batage here would be, or the stats and the kit overall, if it plays out the way I think in my head, he could actually be quite the uh, nice wall. Although, I'm not sure how w well he would wall if, let's say, he was getting Rising Rushed. At that point, maybe you should do double defense, but that means you're playing double blue, because I'm thinking of, like, the um, God Key blue defensive unit that revives to half health when he dies, and then this unit as well for, like, when you want to tank otherwise. So that's actually pretty cool. You could definitely play around with this unit. And then, obviously, the strike is the same stuff. It really is. So let's let's talk about the special move and the uh, uh, the yeah the super and then the the special move and then the special super. So we got deals major impact damage twenty percent damage for fifteen timer counts upon activation. Okay, we got unlock key form of life restores own health by fifteen percent and cancels allies attribute downgrades. Yo, that is pretty cool. I love that. And then this is Majin Buu Saga, Strike Defense. Then we got Majin Buu Saga, Strike and Blast Defense during Battle, or Element Blue. What can I say? On a blue color counter team, this, is, this could be a unit you would pick. He definitely, he definitely feels a little bit more relevant than the other two that I've just covered. And for defensive reasons, for just, you know, just reasons alone, uh, I would definitely say with the other two, they definitely could see play, but right now, as the meta has been, I don't see the other two being as relevant, except for the yellow one because of his Super Saiyan tag. So people will definitely try him out. How long will he be relevant? That's another story altogether. But <clears throat> this guy I could definitely see some play with. Uh, just what I'm thinking off the top of my head. Again, practice was going to really decide if this is actually true or not. So there you go. And let's take a look at now Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So he's my favorite type of unit. So I, I, my favorite is Super Saiyan 3s, especially Gokus. So yeah, the fact that he's a yellow, really cool. Now let's take a look at what he does, what he is, what he can do. So he's a melee type. He's got 2.47 million in terms of health. Uh, he's 245 for the strike, 228 for the blast. And then his defense is very similar to this Goku in terms of stats. Now, of course, if he doesn't focus on defense, these def this defensive buff is only just what it is. And it will he will die harder than the other one, obviously. All right, let's take a look at this. Full Strength Unleashed. So restores own key by 50. Increases our card speed, draw speed by one level for 15 timer counts. And then plus 20% to damage. Five timer counts to a lap. So he's a very, very like quick oriented unit. Cool. He kind of reminds me of the red one, but obviously better. All right, so we got a plus 60% to damage inflicted when, okay, so this is applies for 60 timer counts when battle start. Plus 50% to strike damage inflicted. So, oh, wow. Okay, reduces damage by 30%, increases his key recovery by 70%. That is awesome. And we got anti-regeneration inflicted damage up. So 30% inflicted against regeneration cannot be canceled and reduces damage received by them by 15%, which cannot be canceled. Okay, so he feels very niche. Uh, I don't know how relevant he will actually be. He doesn't feel like he would be as relevant as some of the other ones, but he could definitely go through units pretty, pretty effectively with this type of kit. Again, my issue is that if you cancel out his original unique ability, he is nothing more than his main ability, 
and his stats. And his stats, you know, although impressive in conjunction with his, his um, passives and his main ability, not so impressive outside of that. So, you know, there is that. And then once again, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, let's take a look at Super Kamehameha Wave. So deals major impact damage. We got inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade plus 20% to damage received. Cool. Not very relevant, but it could be relevant. I mean, it's relevant if you can get them in another combo. Not very relevant if that's the last move you ever make on them. Uh, so, you know, it's one of those things. Okay, then we got unlock key form of attack. Plus 30% to strike damage. Inflict a frequent timer counts. Nice. It's, it's, this part is stackable. And then this part is not stackable. So minus 10% to strike arts costs. For 15 timer counts, cannot be stacked. Cool. Kind of obvious why. You, they don't want you to have a card cost of zero when you're hitting your opponent. That could lead to some interesting combos that may or may not end if you're doing proper switching and then you're, you know. Yeah. All right, then let's take a look at what we got. We got, again, Yellow and then Majin Buu Saga. So, obviously, they decided to make sure that the this Goku is not a Yellow because they didn't want them to share, but they wanted them to share at least in this area. So, if you are making, like, some sort of yellow color counter team. They could see play. They could see a lot of play. And they could be really, really relevant for that particular team. Actually, I, in fact, I do see them being very relevant for that sort of team. So in a color counter team that is yellow-based, yeah, I could definitely see the, the, them pairing up very nicely together. So you have that. That's pretty cool. All right, let's take a look at now Super Saiyan God Goku. So let's see, 2.47 million, cool, 240 in terms of the strike attack, we got 224 for the strike a blast attack, 155, and then 160 for the defensive stats. Uh, he's a melee type, and uh, I hope that, <laughs> well, okay, so just without, with, with, with a little bit of spoilers, yeah, God Key didn't get a red unit, so for those of you that were hoping, you're going to finally get a red God Key unit, no. No, you're stuck with the red god key units that you already have, and you got two, and that's about it. So you're going to have to stick with that. So let's look at his, his kit, because that's what really matters. Surging power of the gods. So draw strike art cards next, so you can continue a combo. Stores on health by 20%, and then key by 40. Flicks all enemies with attribute downgrade, plus 5 to substitute count for 15 timer counts. That's pretty cool. That can really mess people up. If you do that, you could... You will... Wow. Yeah, okay. Again, that's going to require a little bit of setup, but if your opponent's switching a lot, and then you click that just at the right time, now their units are stuck, and they can dodge once, maybe, and then you're going to annihilate them. Cool. That's awesome. Applies the following effects to self. So again, this is a little bit like, um, a little bit of skill involved, a little bit of like the stars align, but otherwise... This, the, the skill is really cool. I think most people are going to really run it for this alone. But if you can include this in, I think that could be very, very relevant. And maybe even more relevant than this, personally. So, get this aligned, and these won't matter as much. Alright, but let's go back to this, because I cut myself off. Supplies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. 40% to increase damage. Okay, 15 timer counts. Reduce damage by 20%. Cool. Additional 30% to inflicted Saiyan when, an when another... Oh, no, no. Okay, well, let me reread that. Additional 30% to damage inflicted when a tag Saiyan other than this character is a battle member. Okay. Cool. Effects reset after uh, switch. But what I do like about this character is that it's each time he enters the battlefield. So this is nice. Then we got attack inflicted damage up. Applies the following effects to itself every time this character uses a strike or blast card's art. Uh, restores key by 10 and plus 20 percent to damage inflicted for 10 timer counts minus three to arts cost for five timer counts bruh this unit really nice really nice i like this unit this is a simple yet very effective kit this reminds me of the uh, super saiyan blue zenkai 7 goku so yeah this is a phenomenal kit for a free-to-play unit and I understand why they made the stats lower, but that doesn't really matter because this matters way more. Stackable. 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 Reapplied on Switch. So, yeah, really good. Dragon Smash. Deals major impact damage. 
50% chance to cancel enemy attribute upgrades on hit. Okay. Why only 50? <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. Whatever. Let's, let's, let's move on. A lot of key form of attack, 20% to damage inflicted, and then 30% to key recovery. Okay, would have been nice if they had given something a little bit different than this, but it's okay. It is what it is. Uh, one thing that I would definitely say that is on the lower end for this unit is that I do wish that they give him gave him in his passives a little bit more key recovery, and I wish they didn't stick it to his green card. That kind of sucks because it means that your card quality control is really based upon whether you're hitting them with Strike or Blast Arts cards and how many you can actually follow up with. So, you know, it's just... it's, it's that's, that's my concern. But otherwise, he's a very effective, simple unit. He's definitely nothing, like, super, super amazing, but he's not bad. He's definitely a solid unit. Now, let's take a look at what he's buffing. He's buffing the God of Destruction Beerus Saga uh, units, as well as the Green Base Strike and Attack and Defense. All right, so God of Destruction Beerus Saga. I don't fully remember all the units that are there, so why don't I just cut right here, and we're going to go and double-check what units are possible, and then from there we will decide how good he is actually buffing these units. All right, so we're back. Um, unfortunately, the problem with this unit alone is that there's only, like, four... No, five units that get buffed by this. So the only place where I could really see them in is like a green color counter team. Or you could do them in a kind of God of Destruction Beerus. Or alternatively, he buffs almost nobody or nobody and everyone buffs him. So he's a little bit of a greedy unit. I mean, not a little, a lot. But, you know, he does buff if you have Vados on the team. You can put, you know, he buffs Vados. So cool. And I mean... There is that. He also buffs Green Goku Black if you are running Green Goku Black in your God Key team. And if you're running an episode saga of God of Destruction Beerus, I question you, but all power to you. You can do that. So, that being said, let's move on to the final unit because uh, I think that's, you know, we want to see all six and so we want to see how they, are, how they look and let's get to it. So we got finally Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, a.k.a. Super Saiyan Blue Goku. He is purple. I know people wanted him to be red or the other one to be red, but we don't get to choose. So here we are. All right, so let's take a look. He's a range type, and yet you're about to find out that he has better strike values than blast values, at least by kit by stats alone. So that's kind of funny. But anyways, health 2.47 million. Uh, strike attack 2 242. His blast attack is 240, so about 2,000 less. Actually, a little bit more than 2,000 less. Strike defense is 154, and then the blast defense is 154. At, yeah, it's um pretty even. There might be a little bit of difference, but otherwise it's like that we don't know the values of completely, but otherwise, yeah, it's um pretty similar. All right, we got Flawless Power as his main ability, so he restores his own health by 20%, 40% to damage inflicted for 40 timer counts, and then cancels his own attribute downgrades. 10 timer counts to elapse. Not bad. Okay. And it's very, like, basic very well-rounded, so he's increasing his damage to both Blast and Strike here, so that's nice. And then we get to the unique abilities, and this is where, obviously, his Blast is going to take over a little bit, so there you go. Applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield, so this is nice. We like the fact that when he switches in, once again, we like the switch-ins for these type of characters, especially if they're not going to give us the cannot be cancelled. You know, We don't want it to be cancelled, and if it has to be cancelled, we want to be able to reapply it, so this is nice. Plus 50% to damage inflicted for 15 timer counts, plus 40% per sante to damage to blast damage here, inflicted for 15 timer counts, and then reduces damage received by 30% for 15 timer counts. Basically, yes, his blast will be increased a, a good amount more than his strike, but his strike is still up there, especially if you pair it up with his flawless power main ability. However, even if you don't, still decent, so there you go. And then we got the assist, inflicted damage up, applies the following effects to allies, when this character is switched to standby. And this actually this is actually legitimately pretty good. Because I feel like the only purple that I usually see in a god key team is uh Ultra Instinct Goku. So this is a decent substitute considering the fact that he's buffing the team. Cool. 20% to damage inflicted, to key recovery, and to critical rate. Okay. Uh the critical rate is like it's nice that it's at, it's at least 10 percent, but I mean, at the same time, it's nothing like crazy. It, 
it won't go off as much as you would like it to. But it is nice that he is buffing the team. I'm not saying he's definitely the go-to unit. I'm just saying, you know, this is a nice free-to-play option that you've got. Then we got the levels. So once again, yes, yes, yes. And then we got the Super Kamehameha. So Impact Damage again. 20% to blast damage inflicted for 25 armor house upon activation. I would have preferred if it just increased its own damage, but eh, whatever. It is what it is. This is a nice support, I guess, in a sense. But you have to re-hit. So. But then again, that's the same with almost everything. And then restores own key by 30 and then increases damage inflicted by allies for 15 timer counts. That's really cool. I like how it's global. That is nice, and that is very helpful. So there you go. And then Arts Card Held is Blast, so that's pretty cool. And then let's take a look. We got Frieza, Resurrected Saga, and we got Element Purple, Base, Blast Attack, and Defense during Battle. So this is really cool for those blue color counter teams or purple color counter teams. Or blue with some purple color counter in there. So very nice. But if we were to just double check real fast and figure out what units actually come from the Frieza Resurrected Re uh, resurrected saga uh let's actually go and do that right now so i got my phone on me we're gonna go and just find that real fast so here we go let me just click it and let's take a look so we have the zenkai super saiyan blue goku so that's pretty cool considering this guy is purple it does actually fit the criteria for that so that's pretty darn cool yeah uh, outside of that, though, uh, realistically, you're not going to pair him up with much else. There is that purple Vegeta from First Anniversary as well. Unfortunately, uh, he's not very relevant, like, at all. And then, on top of that, there's Golden Frieza, but again, I, I haven't seen LOE very much, and when I see LOE, usually they don't run Golden Frieza, they're running the Green Metacooler. So, yeah. And then there's obviously the red transforming Frieza, but then people run the movies version of that. And then at that point, the only other two is Sushi Man, aka Sashimi, I mean, Shis Shisami, and then uh, the two Jockos. So once again, you're not going to really be playing him in his respective episode tag. You're going to be playing him in a god key or maybe as a substitute or maybe in a color counter team of sorts or in some sort of variation team. Either way, you know, these are free-to-play units. At the end of the day, this is really cool. Uh, I'll definitely be farming for these guys. That's pretty darn awesome. And being a Goku buff and an Android 18 buff, but ma mainly a Goku buff, uh, this is just a lot of fun for me, specifically. And I'm sure this is going to bring a lot of people to the game, so I'm just really excited for this. I think this is legitimately awesome. And there's not much else to say other than the fact that this is just an awesome thing for the game so with that being said guys that's the video thank you guys so much for watching please don't hesitate to tickle the like button you haven't already subscribe and click at the bell for more notifications so you never miss another one of my videos have yourselves a salty a day and i will see you in the next video mana, mana. Bum, dum, bum. Bum, dum, bum. Bum, dum. <laughs> Saitama!